let's talk about tutorial hell and how to get out of it specifically. I know a lot of y'all are stuck in tutorial hell. I've seen the view numbers on Pedro's channel. You guys are deep in those tutorials. You are just eating up every word you can, watching these long videos, teaching you every detail about React and how to use every feature. I don't know every feature in React. I know like half of them. You don't need to have every single detail of every single thing you use memorized. In fact, it slows you down significantly. And more importantly, it gives you no understanding of how important different pieces are. No tutorial can teach you which parts of a framework or a language are the ones that you are going to need to use. And there is no way for you to prioritize for yourself which things need to be learned if you're learning for the sake of learning rather than for the sake of building. And the harsh reality is there will always be more to learn. You will never know JavaScript. You will never know React. You will know enough of them to build things. So you should focus on that. The sooner you can get away from tutorials and into building, the better. It will help you significantly in the success of this, your own learnings. I often compare this to skateboarding, which I find myself doing more and more in my old age of missing my board. Skateboards are not learned in a classroom. Sitting there, as a professor tells you about the history of skateboards and how they work for eight hours a day. Skateboarding isn't learned by sitting there watching tutorial after tutorial of every single trick ever done. Skateboarding is learned by taking a piece of wood with wheels on it, going outside, and hitting the ground over and over again until you ride away. You get better at skateboarding by being bad at skateboarding. You get better at code by being bad at code. Not from tutorials, not from sitting there watching video after video. Honestly, not from my videos either. My videos are a great way to hear about new things, get motivated a bit, get excited about stuff you might not have that energy for but none of that's going to make you successful as a developer. I should be a fun thing you do in your free time. God, sirens. I know as soon as I start talking again, they're gonna go off again. I know how this works. I entirely lost my train of thought from that, great. You do not know what you need to know till you're building what you want to build. And the thought, I find that tutorials trick you in a way into feeling like you have to go learn the whole framework or the whole tool or the whole technology. And that these much longer haul things you have to go learn, they don't resemble how the day to day of being an engineer works. We're not constantly reading every detail of every code base we touch. We're not 100% familiar with every feature of React. If I was to go do a React tutorial right now, I would learn things almost definitely. The reality is, I don't need to know those things or I would have learned them by now. When I think about learning programming, I don't think about fields like biology where you have to go sit in class for hours. I think more about skateboarding where the thought of sitting in class and being told how a skateboard works is it's funny to me. That feeling of failure and that familiarity with doing things wrong is so essential to figuring out what doing things right is. If you're presented five features in React and you need to figure out which ones to learn and learn more about, you don't know how to value those until you're building things with React. You cannot know which features are the most worth your time until you're building things with them. And the best way to figure out what things are worth learning is by using them. If you go out there and start building stuff, you'll quickly figure out what you don't know much more effectively than by watching tutorial after tutorial after tutorial. And if your goal is to get a job, you shouldn't just be trying to fill your resume with 15 different technologies that you watched enough tutorials on to theoretically get your hire. You should be focused on building things to talk about and demonstrate. Engineers aren't people who have a spec sheet full of the coolest technologies. Engineers are people who made things happen. You need to be able to build stuff. And you don't do that by sitting here and watching tutorial after tutorial. You do that by building stuff. I don't know how to put it other than go build things. Like we have this really cool, unique field that we're in where everything that the greatest engineers in the world have done can be done by you at home on a Chromebook right now. All of the things you've seen me do on stream can be done using free tools and technologies and accounts on various services and platforms. All of the stuff you need to be successful as an engineer is sitting on the web for free waiting for you to know what you need. And it's so easy to feel like you have to go through these tutorials. You have to buy this course. You have to sit through all of this content. And then, and finally then, you will know React and then you can be a real engineer. That's not how any of this works. All, all but one of the engineers I've hired at Ping had little to no React experience when I hired them. When I was at Twitch, it was like 
10% of the people I hired, maybe 15 to 20, had a React experience prior for React teams. For my backend team, especially the one that was running Elixir, we never hired a person who knew Elixir going in. The expectation is when you're working with these technologies, you'll figure out what you don't know and figure out how to learn it as fast as possible. And ideally, as an engineer, you'll be learning things every day. And every day, you're gonna feel a little bit stupid. I think that's one of the biggest reasons people do fall into tutorial hell, is they, they feel dumb. And watching those tutorials, watching this content that's focused specifically on them and their mindset of like not being good enough yet, it feeds into that and helps them stay there. It's like comfort versus growth mindset. Tutorials are often written for people who don't know anything and those aren't going to challenge you as meaningfully. But the reality of engineering is you're just going to feel dumb as hell regularly. Like you've seen it happen to me on stream probably if you're hanging out here. I had a stream recently where I was using React 18 more heavily for the first time and I've never felt dumber using a framework I've used for half a decade at this point. Plus, the, the harsh reality is tutorial hell encourages you to not challenge yourself more meaningfully. Good tutorials are well paced and don't challenge you super hard. Software engineering has no pace and you're going to feel stupid as hell all the time. That also means you can grow way faster too. The more often you feel dumb and the more often you don't actually understand what's going on, the more you have to learn and the faster you can learn it. And so much of that is our job as engineers that I think it's worth getting used to it earlier rather than later. Tutorials are an okay resource for onboarding on a new thing. But to be frank, I personally have never finished a full tutorial. The new Boston YouTube channel and the Java tutorials he posted, that's how I got started in software engineering. It just, it is. All of my original software dev experience came from watching those tutorials on YouTube. And I got 40 videos in of like a 200 plus video series. And after those 40 videos, I felt like I understood the patterns well enough to start building and do my Google searching from there. Good old Bucky made enough content for me to get my feet wet. And then I dove in. That was it. And from here, I Google search. I ask questions. I get involved in communities. But most importantly, I build shit. That's how I got good. I built a lot of stuff. And the vast majority of it, even now, was and is bad stuff. And that's fine because you can learn a lot from bad code and mistakes. And a lot of those learnings are why I am successful today. So if you want to be a successful senior engineer like Theo, go screw up some more. Go build something and watch it burn and realize you don't know anything and panic about it a bit and go Google search a bunch of things and realize you had some fundamental misunderstanding about how servers work or how like deployments happen or SQLite or whatever the hell you're playing with and realize very quickly that you have a lot to learn, but you can learn it just by playing and building and failing. Failure is where you learn in software engineering and tutorials discourage you from embracing failure. Go embrace failure, go screw some things up, get out of your YouTube hell you're currently stuck in and go make some things happen. I have a feeling you will quickly learn a lot more than you are from those tutorials. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that subscribe button. I think it's like here-ish. Shout out my editors. They've been killing it on the channel. If you're not already in the Discord, please join that. And if you didn't know, I recently started a Patreon. My Patreon, or patreon.com slash t3.gg is the best way to support me. We post new videos early. So if you want to see new videos a few days before they come out, that's the best place to have them. And very soon, we're going to start posting all of the Excalibur diagrams there. So if you want those, make sure you're in the Patreon. Thank you guys again. See you in the next video.